Six. First match, baby. Also, let me get that dolphin up a little bit. Oh, we got a fox ditto. So let me... Oh, and we're starting out on Dreamland. Bigger stage. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna survive for a little bit longer. Let me get everything sorted. Okay, no, that's just on my end. I might need to turn this up somewhere else. Yeah, word. So we have Prodigy there in the blue fox in port two, and we have Epic Drift God in the neutral fox in port one. I believe Epic Drift God is the... Um, the higher seed here. I've seen both these players have entered a handful of Untitled. There's actually, I believe, only five players who have entered every single Untitled, and it was going to drop a few this week, but we're gonna see back from them. But I should focus on this match. We got our first match here. Fox Ditto is gonna look a lot for combo games and edge guards. See, we see Prodigy not being able to finish them at all here, but contrary to what I was saying earlier, it looks like, oh, <laughs> the Phantom Shine. That's not a great way to start off your tournament. Um, but contrary to what I was saying here, Prodigy out with the early lead. Um, oh, and Epic Drew God trying to finish off that with a fair and very um, cognizant of what's going on. Prodigy takes the lead, and it looks like that's just going to swing right back. Interesting drops to the ledge, tries to rip a forward smash in rebuttal. Okay, this can get real scary. Fox Dido is precarious when you, do, especially when you you go out there or something like that. Maybe the drip's a little. It's coming out a little bit too fast. He needs to slow the drip down. Maybe fix his faucet, and that's just gonna be too low of a side B, even though he hit the right short, and, and we're pretty much back to even. Let's see, and able to completely run away during that invincibility. Good on Epic Drip God to be able to stabilize this here and then swing back in favor. Oh, I was expecting the up smash and the up smash. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of uh, whatever you can do, I can do better here from Drip God, who kind of see like, oh, this is a move he's using, and then I'll use it back. Jabs in the corner. Yeah, we're seeing Drip God kind of definitely stabilize a little bit more. A little bit more indeed. And is that going to, ooh, just barely killing off the top. And we got ourselves a game. Okay. Prodigy having the right idea. Going to the top platform to follow that up. Just not getting the grab. Up smash and the up smash. I'm not 100% sure how true that is in certain situations. It just looks so silly. Like, it looks like it shouldn't work in any situation. When you just rip it for a fresh 20. Like, a, you get 40 damage off those two. It just looks silly. Yeah. But in the time that I was kind of uh, goofing around going on that... Uh, Epic Drip God swung the momentum back in his favor. And we've seen, we haven't seen a lot of long combos here. We haven't seen, I don't think we've seen any finished edge guards. We've seen a lot of that, unfortunately, as Prodigy goes down a full stop in this uh, first match. This winner's round one match. Let's see. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that. Um, you can definitely tell this is an early match. Uh, not only just in the tournament for the fact that these combos aren't going as long as you'd potentially see a, a more talented box player, but both these players are neck and neck with each other. Epic Drift God definitely suffering a little bit at the hands of that SD, but Prodigy has lost some stocks pretty early off the side. So let's see if one of these guys will be able to finish this off with the first real edge guard of the game. All right. Okay, thank God we're not seeing another low short. And the... Was that a wave, uh, wave dash on stage? Pivot up tilt? Down third tech chase? Not over the follow. Ooh, getting real scary going near the ledge. But neither of these guys have been able to pull together an edge guard. So, coming back, not too precarious of a task for either of these. Ooh, okay. Going a lot for that side B. I'd like to see Braji try something out. But it looks like, even though he's going to be forced to try something else out there to end off that game one, it's going to be all epic Drick Gods. He hits him a little bit too far. So let's see, game two, how these guys are going to be able to adapt. You're going to see Prodigy not SD with the short and off the side of the stage. Also interested to see where they are going to go. I can't imagine... I wonder if either of these players are going to ban FD. I, If we see... Well, I guess it depends on the kind of stage these two want to go to. If one of them feels... If Prodigy feels confident in their chain grabs, we could definitely see an FD pick. Um, that's really the, I would say, the most polarizing. And in a ditto, you really can't have too many super polarizing stages. Okay, they're going to opt to go to FAD, but I think probably FD is one of the most polarizing with, with how devastating the chain grab on Fox can be against Fox. So let's see. Well, we're going to be looking for Prodigy, less SDs, uh, and we're going to be looking for both players, and Prodigy also to mix up their recoveries. But we're going to see from both players... I want to see more cleaner edge guards, or at least more attempts at like rolling up or going out there to shine by yourself like that. Because we really have not seen much great off the stage from either of these two players. As we're seeing, okay, that's that's a start, and that'll give Prodigy a lead again. Not exactly what we're thinking of when I think of prime ledge play, but it's it's more than we've seen before. 
So up tilt, back air, and we're gonna be back to square one. Just a roll up? Yeah, no. <laughs> Even more. Okay. And we got a nice combo here. Okay, that's probably the longest combo we've gotten the set so far. Prodigy able to get a nice 70 and an oh no. The ledges have been cursed so far in this set. You just avoid them at all costs. Okay, but Prodigy playing with a little bit more gusto now, having a two-stock lead, able to get some a little bit more movement here. Okay, what are we gonna see on Android? Yeah, a lot of side Bs. Almost exclusively side Bs from Prodigy. Even the scenarios where Prodigy was above the ledge before maybe could have gone for a downward angle. Prodigy opts to get a little bit lower and then follow it from there. Yeah, see going maybe getting a little bit too overconfident. Prodigy going for that that big rip on the up smash, taking a fat rip, but I think he's a little bit he's a, might be a day late on that one. This epic trick god slowly okay follows my advice in one capacity by switching up his recovery move, but not in the other capacity, falling for another SD there, which is unfortunate to see. And we might see Drip God bring this one back. Okay, more side Bs on stage. A lot of side Bs from both players. Nair meets Nair. Oh, no. It's going to be heartbreaking if Epic Drip God's able to bring this back. Well, heartbreaking for Prodigy, especially with another SD in this game. And sometimes in melee, especially when you're at this level and you guys are... Oh, yeah, that's a, a weird way for uh, Drip God to take the lead. But especially when you're playing at this sort of level, it sometimes it's just who's, who's the player who doesn't SD as much. Just got to be confident in your play or understand where you're not confident in your play. Like, if you know your ledge dashes aren't crisp and you have one stock left or you have zero stocks left, yeah, if you are if you know you're not confident in your ledge play, probably shouldn't go for those ledge dashes in clutch scenarios. Gets another shorten. It seems like one of those uh, creative characters where Prodigy put a lot of points in hitting the shortens consistency, consistently, but not a lot of points in not SD. Right. But this is going to be heartbreaking if Prodigy loses this one. It's going to be the definition of a close 2-0. Maybe he can cheese something over here on the ledge. These two have had a little bit of weird scenarios. I, even though Prodigy did opt for the side B again there, that was a real nice uh, mix-up between those moves. Ugh, ripping off Smash when you're this far behind is not what you want to do. Okay. Shine's nice. Losing the game. A little less nice. But yeah, that, that one's... An interesting match to start off for sure. Oh wait, let me go for this one while we uh, before I call it Tuesday. An interesting match to start off for sure. A real heartbreaker for Prodigy, who was keeping up so close, but just couldn't stop SDing. Sometimes, sometimes it really is the simplest stuff that even a a dumb brain Falcoming 